All right, Shalom. I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles, Mr. and others of great Millstone and rule well, and salutations to the Akimron world that pushes truth and sincerity. An honor to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you for the time. The host of Artie's Kaiser Report, Max Kaiser. Max, good evening. Thanks for coming on. Um, we we're hearing there that China looks set then to challenge the petrodollar. Why does Beijing feel the need uh, to do this? Well, first of all, they're very brave to do this because countries that have tried to exit the oil dollar matrix have met terrible ends. Of course, Saddam Hussein wanted to trade oil in Euro, so he was killed. Uh, you had uh, Muammar Gaddafi wanted to trade his energy in something other than U.S. dollars. He was killed. So the track record here is pretty dire. So kudos to China for, for taking this project on. And of course, they are rumored to be the big buyer in the Aramco offering of their state oil facilities coming down the pike. So. This makes sense in a geopolitical sense in terms of you've got China and uh, Russia and the Saudis are looking to escape the U.S. dollar, U.S. dollar hegemony. Uh, they're looking to de-dollarize. That's a concept we see all over the world right now as countries want to escape from the U.S. military industrial complex. These countries around the world are tired of funding America's military adventurism by being a party to the empire of debt, as it's known around the world, uh, the U.S. dollar, and they want to split off. They want their autonomy. If China wants autonomy. Russia wants autonomy. So you want autonomy. You see what I would mean. Uh, there's autonomy, right? It's say independence or freedom. It's say as as of the will or one or one's action. It's say um a self-governing community because really and truly all these other nations they were more or less under dominance under under mystery Babylon, the Great Hall. You understand? They were being control that way even see most of the customs that us follow like if it was just this guy here in this in this shirt and tie that is not the original custom you understand they have their own special native clothes that they just wear in terms of rituals and ceremonies but even they were strongly indoctrinated by america you understand they did they, they drank at that um that wine of fornication all the different customs and things that america does teach that all the nations around the world pick up and right now piece by piece the most i turn in them against america because they had a it, the time coming that they had to fulfill his will uh iran wants autonomy they want they don't want to be ruled over by the u.s dollar anymore so this gives them away this 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 contract futures contract based uh, in yuan uh, for oil convertible into gold means that these countries can finally and it's been in place since the end of world war ii escape the brent woods u.s dollar hegemony empire of date and the u.s dollar the u.s dollar uh, the petrodollar is ready how is ready one of the ways that america does keep its dominance over other countries because if you subjected to using that particular currency you have power over them but if they discard that power, that, um, that currency that means that the power that you have uh, have over them will lessen you understand that is why america does get on so um so aggressive when somebody wants to discard the petrodollar supremacy world reserve currency that is the u.s dollar and we're in a new a new beginning i think uh, is there anything then that the u.s can do about this because uh, it's not going to be happy that it's going to lose the petrodollar so how would you expect it to fight back well, they're exactly right. They will fight back. They will start a war. You know, maybe they'll start a war uh, between Japan and China. You know, maybe they'll start a war with North Korea. You know, America will do anything to keep the U.S. dollar as world reserve currency. Uh, they will invade a country like Afghanistan. Uh, they, they, they'll stop at nothing because this is the basis of the U.S. empire. It's not land-based. Mm -hmm. 
It's not based on material goods. It's based on rent seeking. It's based on lending dollars, getting that income. And then when countries can't pay, they dismantle the assets and take them over. We saw in Latin America, South America. This is how America built its empire. The countries that are resistant to America's financial cartel are Russia, China, Iran. So now they figured out, you know what, we're going to split off from the dollar and they can do so with this new contract. And they're also, they're embracing cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies in this context is another way to de-dollarize, to de-dollarize, get out of the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar is being held up w narrowly with uh, the Pentagon's various actions around the world and a lot of market machinations from the central banks. But once the, the cat's out of the bag, you know, look for the dollar to uh, have a very significant crash. Mm. Uh, and amongst the... Because really and truly, that is how America does dominate most places by using the petrodollar to crush a system on the inside. And then if it, if that's not working, then they will use the military might to destroy it on the outside, which is physically. But you'll see even um, China is not the first country to start to do this. Just recently, I think Putin was planning something like that. Even Venezuela and all was, was siding on the things like that. So you're seeing nation after nation, one after the next, starting to rebel against them. Uh, among the countries you said might actually join China in this were um, Saudi Arabia. You said that just a couple of minutes ago. I mean, that might surprise a lot of people that they would be willing to go ahead with this. Oh, yeah. So, no, uh, absolutely. <laughs> so Saudi how do Arabia. Could they be able to do, to do this and, and simply switch out of the US dollar? Do you think it's that simple for them? Well, it's not going to be simple, but there, there is definitely a motivation for the Saudis to, um, you know, they're very, they want to float Aramco, for example, because they need the money, because they're deeply in debt, bec and, and they're running out of cash, and they wanted to do an IPO of Aramco uh, on the either the London or the American exchange, but they were prevented from doing so from the legal actions of the 9-11 survivors who rightly point to the Saudis as the cause of 9-11, the architects of 9-11, and they uh, were allowed in America for those lawsuits to go forward. That's a pretty recent development, only in the last year or so. Lawsuits against Saudis for terrorism for 9-11 have been allowed to go forward. So now the Saudis are like, okay, if that's the way you feel, America, then we're going to take our business to China, Russia, Iran, you know. So there's a huge split between the Saudi and America right now. The petrodollar, which got started in 1970, 1971, that's coming to an end. Uh, the Saudis are doing all kinds of moves that beyond just killing people on 9-11, okay. which is pretty... So there's, um... So there's Revelation 17, right? Say, um, maybe 16, and say, on the ten horns, which thou sowest, Upon the beast, it said, "Thee shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh, and burn her with fire." So these, these same, those horns, which is the same, the same allies, the same allies of America. The scriptures say that eventually, Moses will move them to hate America, and they will, they will be a part of, they will be a part of America's destruction. Aggressive, I think. Uh, Max, They're doing a lot of other moves we could talk too. a lot longer about this. It's a fascinating topic, but we've got to leave it there. Really appreciate your thoughts on this. That was uh, sure. Max Kaiser. Thank you. Let us show you how fast prophecy come in piece by piece. You're even seeing more sentence pertaining to you see the, the amount of missiles if you look on YouTube because they ain't showing it on on no news channel just so. If you look on certain YouTube um, YouTube pages, if you Google it, you'll be able to see like advances in different weapon systems. That um, um that different countries like North Korea and um country slip my ears. All these different countries don't need advancing in the weapon system because they know what they're preparing for. The most I put it in their spirit. So when that time comes, they will be capable to just wipe America off the field. You understand? And with that, I like to give all praises and on glory. To Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors the apostles and elders of Great Milson and Rule Well, and salutations to the Akim around the world that pushes shooting sincerity. Shalom.